All right, so let's take a look at the strum pattern feature in Evolution Electric Guitar Strawberry. So right now I have the chord mode set to auto detect, which means that when I hold down a chord, you won't actually hear those notes play, but it'll use those notes to automatically determine a real guitar voicing to use when strumming. So in this section right here in the mapping and strum pattern section, we've got a drop down menu for loading patterns into any of the 12 different uh, keys for your strumming patterns. Now it's important not to confuse this drop down menu with the main load button which you use to load in different guitar presets. So let's load in a pattern and I'm going to load it on the C and we'll navigate to the strumming patterns folder and I'll load in a simple strum pattern right here and you'll notice on the keyboard you can see a key switch create right there. So if I hold down a chord and then I hold down the uh, key switch corresponding to that pattern. As long as I have that uh, that pattern key held, uh, the pattern will loop. So um, one useful thing to note is that I can play a chord and I can switch chords in the middle of that pattern. The other nice thing is I can actually lift up on the chord, release the chord, and I'll continue playing that while I go to the next chord. So that's handy if uh, um, if there's a little gap between uh, when you move from one chord to the next. It'll fill that gap by using whichever chord was uh, played last. So let's load in one more uh, pattern. So you have up to 12 different patterns and you can switch between them uh, in real time or uh, you know if you have if you need one pattern for the bridge of the song and one for a chorus. Um, so let's load in one that uses the single strum keys right here and that key switch appears. So I'm going to hold down a chord and then uh, use that other key switch. So yeah, as you can see, um, I can even do uh, finger style picking type patterns as well as kind of generic, uh, your general uh, strumming patterns. Um, there's a bunch of different factory strums included. And one thing that you'll need to know about uh, syncing these um, patterns is uh, they're tempo synced. Um, but you can also change the speed from the normal tempo to double tempo or half tempo, depending on what you need. And then also there's a start timing control. Now, uh, there are two modes. There's the free mode which means that as soon as you uh, press the strumming key for the pattern, it will play the pattern. Uh, now the actual tempo of the pattern will be synced, but the start position won't be synced. Uh, whereas if you set that uh, start timing to the sync mode, that means that uh, if I press that key, it'll wait until the next uh, downbeat, usually the start of a measure, uh, before playing it. So that basically ensures that your pattern is going to sync with your existing song. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'm gonna make another tutorial about how to record your own strumming patterns. So stay tuned for that and thank you for watching.